Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about what's new, what's happening in bodybuilding world for the past couple of days. We got some really interesting things, we're only a couple of days out of Arnold Classic Brazil, so we're gonna start with this little physique update of Flex Lewis, who has been retired for quite a while now, and for some reason, he is freaking shredded. In this video, actually, he says that he hasn't trained legs for like two years, and yet his legs look like this, his conditioning is crazy like this, he has crazy glute separation, he got a cramp right here. Look at the glute separation, look at the lines, I mean, this is just, this is not normal for somebody who has been retired for as long as uh, Flex Lewis. And Rafael here says that he has more separation than him, and he's like contest ready, and it's true. I mean, look at this. Rafa doesn't have that kind of separation in the glutes. So should we worry about Rafa potentially not winning Gano Classic Brazil? No, no, not really. Now, we got a little photo from Guduito. He posted this, uh, this photo with Flex Lewis. As we all know, Guduito is doing Arnold Classic Brazil in a couple of days, and Flex Lewis went over there in Brazil, and they took this photo together, they had a little chat apparently. Now, what I'm worried when I'm looking at this photo is Guduito's face. You can joke about it if you want, but the truth is, when somebody is truly conditioned, truly shredded, they do have a dead face, they do have sunk in face, you can tell their conditioning based on their face, I mean, unless they're like Regan Grimes or Quint Beastwood, I don't know, these guys that have puffy face, even when they are actually lean, that's just the way they look, but Goodwito is not that kind of a guy, he doesn't have a puffy face, if he was truly shredded, I think his face would look leaner, here is a very recent photo of him, and you can see his quads, I mean, they are looking very lean, right? It doesn't seem to me like he's not gonna be in shape. He actually looks very much in shape to me. I could be wrong, but his legs and let's say his entire front part of the body does look lean. Now, of course, he's only posting his strongest poses, his strongest body parts. Is he gonna be lean all around? We don't know that. This is what he looked like when he won a pro card. This conditioning was not good. This was definitely not a pro level of conditioning. It was enough to win a pro card, but to win against pros, to be one of the top pros, it's gonna be tough with this conditioning. So he needs to be leaner than here, for sure. But you guys gotta consider that he already had an entire prep for his pro debut, which he cancelled. He had a long off season before that prep, and also a short off season after that prep, and he had this prep for the Arnold Classic Brazil. So it's been a while since this show. He had a long time to progress, and if he got this big in his, I don't know, 24, 25 years of life, then I'm sure he did get a lot bigger in the past two years or so. So even if he is not like completely shredded with this new muscle, he's gonna have a different look to his physique, more hardness, more pop, I think overall he's gonna look much better than he did when he won his pro card. How well will he place? Well, that's a good question. In my opinion, best case scenario, Top 2. Beating Rafael Brandao is pretty much impossible. Beating Tony O'Burton is gonna be a tough task, but beating this guy, William Martins, I think also a Brazilian who is competing in this show, I don't know, this guy is actually looking very good and it seems like he made a lot of progress in his offseason. He did a couple of pro shows earlier, I don't know if you guys noticed him, but I think people might notice him more this year. Last year at the Arnold Classic Brazil, I think he was top 4, and he hired uh, Chad Nichols for the offseason this year, and he got up to 147 kilos, which is uh, 325 pounds. So he's definitely very, very heavy, I'm not sure about the height, he also competed at the Legion Sports Fest, where he placed fourth behind Sean Clarida, Sergio Oliva, and Regan Grimes, which was two years ago. I couldn't find a comparison, so I can't really tell you how tall he is. I think he's a bit taller. Here you can see his physique, so, like, maybe not the most aesthetic physique, maybe not the smallest waist, but he's got a lot of size, and I think in the past two years his physique progressed, and as you saw in that physique update, he does look like he's bringing conditioning to the Arnold Classic Brazil, He's a big guy, he's gonna be bigger than he was here, so he's definitely somebody to look out for, especially for guys like Guduito, this guy might challenge, Guduito and Antonio Burton, do not forget about this guy. Again, his name is William Martins. Since I already mentioned Quint Beastwood for his puffy face, 
We also got a physique update from him. In the caption here he says, never show your hand. And I'm wondering, what could this mean? I mean, he just showed us his physique, what else is he talking about? But he didn't tell us which show he's doing, so I guess that's the hand that he doesn't want to show. He's been asked about it on HD Muscle Podcast, but he's keeping it a secret. He doesn't want to tell us which show he's doing for whatever reason. Maybe he doesn't want the pressure that comes with it or people speculating where he will place or people making comparison videos just like the one I made yesterday about Andrew Jack and Exilla. You can go ahead and watch that one, but Quint Beastwood or Quinton Riot, that's his real name, right now is looking really freaking good. Like he looks pretty freaking crazy. Now, I'm looking at this guy and, and I'm thinking about Samson Dauda because Samson always had this kind of big frame. He was always like a taller, bigger bodybuilder, but he couldn't flourish until he was like 35 or 34. And uh, Quint is, I think, 28 right now. He's my age. So he's a freaking monster for that age and he needs to get bigger, even bigger than this. But I think right now he has almost the right amount of size. And somebody asked him in the comments how heavy will he be on stage. Uh, they assumed he's gonna be like 260, 265. And he says, no, hell no, that was his weight two years ago. So how heavy will he be? 275, 280? We'll see. But this guy is definitely a big, big guy. He has a huge freaking frame. And I think he made some solid improvements, like his legs look thicker, especially the inner area, and I think his lats look bigger, I can't see his back, that was his weakest point, but from the front it looks like he added some lat muscle. Now also his waistline is small, it stayed really small, I know how hard he needed to eat, you know, that was pretty ridiculous, I listened to him like he was eating a ton of food, a ton of food every day, and he managed to keep his waist down. How did he do it? Did he optimize digestion or whatever he did? I don't know. His coach is Matt Jansen, but whatever they're doing, they're doing a great job because Quinton definitely did gain a lot of new muscle and he still has the same lines. Beautiful structure, small joints, small waist. I mean, this guy has so much potential, it's ridiculous. The last time he competed in 2022, he couldn't win a pro show. He was doing Tampa Pro against Kamal Gargni and Kim Williams. And these guys are just, were just better than him. Bigger, more mature. But now, I think he's pretty much ready to win pro shows. And it's been two years since he competed. I think he started the prep at some point, but then he decided to just keep growing because he needed more muscle. Is now the right time to compete? I think he's ready to win pro shows. I think he will win a pro show and go to the Mr. Olympia. But is he done? Is he, as they say, out of the oven yet? No, no. I think he's actually like at maybe 60, 70%. I think he will get better with years, a lot better. I think he will gain more muscle and like more maturity, more details. But I think right now he is ready to win pro shows and to compete at the Mr. Olympia. I think this guy needs to be on the Mr. Olympia stage with this look. This is just crazy. Again, we're seeing only his best poses. We're not seeing his back double bicep, for example, or back lat spread, which are his worst poses. But I mean, with his size, with his freaking frame, with the height and everything... I mean, this guy is like the future Mr. Olympia. He has the potential to win the Mr. Olympia at some point. But like I said, even though this year he's going to look amazing, I still believe he's like at 60-70%. I think he still has a lot more room to progress. And I think he will do that. And one day he might become the Mr. Olympia. So yesterday I made a video about Andrew Jack and Rubiel Mosquera, both of those guys doing the Dubai Pro Show. But I forgot to include this guy right here, Bekru Stabani, who is also doing the Dubai Pro Show and also the European Tour. He's doing Italy and Spain, like Nathan Diash and Regan Grimes did last year. But right now, I gotta say, he is looking freaking insane. He looks phenomenal. And he skipped Mr. Olympia and he is coached by Milos Sarcher. So he had another rebound. And that's where Milos's clients grow the most. So it seems to me that he, that he has gotten even bigger. Look at him, he looks freaking massive right now. I mean, I, I don't I don't see this guy easily at least losing to Rubio or Andrew Jack. I think this guy will push those guys. I mean, as for right now, from all the guys we know that are doing Dubai Pro, 
I think this guy is top 3 or like potentially even the winner of the show. If he nails it, if he comes in conditioning and he can bring that Hadi Chopin level of conditioning because he's also Iranian. I mean, those guys are known for that, that crazy hard look, plastic look. Only Iranians can bring that. But seriously, he knows how to come in shredded and like full and everything. And with this new muscle, this guy is going to be dangerous. This guy, I mean, if he gets the visa to compete in the US one day, you know, he's definitely a top threat to the Mr. Olympia. I mean, not title, but like he can definitely be in a top six, top eight, somewhere there. I think that's where he would place if he competed last year. I think he would be like top, top seven, maybe top eight, somewhere there. Because he is amazing. Where he needs to make progress is definitely his legs, his quads. But he's working on it and it's getting better for sure. I think his legs look really good right now. But his upper body is just, look at this, insane. And he knows how to come in peeled. Look at this most muscular. Damn. He is definitely one of the favorites to win the Dubai Pro Show. He can definitely push both Andrew Jack and Rubiel Mosquera. Finally, we got a little physique update of Wesley Wissers posted by his coach. Uh, Stefan Kynes, boss of Outlaw on IG, and uh, yeah, I mean, Wesley is taking it easy, he's doing an off-season now, a rather short off-season, so I'm not really expecting him to make some crazy progress before the Mr. Olympia, but if he can just stay in decent shape and let his body relax, and then bring the same conditioning to the Mr. Olympia stage, and I wouldn't be too surprised if he made some kind of progression, it's not impossible, like maybe a couple of new details, maybe he can bring in uh, like a little bit fuller quads, if he could do that, and if he could bring the same conditioning like he did at the Iron Classic Ohio, I mean, this is like the only guy that gives us hope that can potentially dethrone Chris Bumstead. Not that we want to see Chris Bumstead removed from his uh, number one position, but, you know, it's kind of getting boring at this point. Uh, Chris is winning every single Mr. Olympia Classic Physique, and we always know it's going to be Chris who wins it. Maybe this year we're going to have an upset. I think it also depends a lot on Chris. If he brings what he brought, I think, two years ago when he first started working with Hunter Ram, but if he brings that kind of a peak, then, yeah, it's going to be really difficult. But if he's a tiny bit off and Wesley is on like he was at Arnold Classic Ohio, then, pff, I don't know, I don't know, I think I can see Wesley winning, but whatever you guys think, tell me down below, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and for more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to this channel, guys, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best, and bye-bye.